we know what the brown is. Those of you guys that were there when we initially talked about the powers. But anybody that wasn't there, let's talk about the powers. It's looking good so far. I agree. I agree. Green and brown, dookie stain. Yeah. <laughs> so when we spun, he got absolute weaponry. Uh, right. And so basically with absolute weaponry, and he said, start from the beginning. Okay. Well, long ago when we actually did char community character re creation, not where we left off. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Check this out then. For those of you that were around way back when, when we were still called the Gamer's Haven. We did community character creation nights as a part of our Midnight Comics uh, Gaming Beyond Gaming brand with Gamer's Haven, rather. And so, we're finally bringing it back. But let's talk about the first character ever created here uh, on the channel. Uh, <laughs> wow, LOL. So, um, Jopo, who uh, uh, came up with this character, I said, you guys can name the character literally anything you want. And Jopo decided to set the bar. And set the bar he did. He said, you know what? I need you to make a character and name him Dookie Stain. And so, once more, um, I was like, dag, okay, well, do I regret this? No, I regret nothing. So how we spun it, right, to still make it a serious story, we was like, all right, we're going to name him Dookie Stain. But we're going to name him, name him Duke Edward Stain. And then like I did a second ago, all we need to do you just put the middle initial, it said the full name, boom, there you have it. Duke E. Stain is still a thing. Got created by Joe Poe here on the side. Um, don't have an exact age for him um, at the moment. Uh, obviously, here's the appearance. He is a spec ops guy, uh, hired uh, by the government, of course, to handle any type of uh, wet work, right? Anyway, um, and so, he's a wild card, though, right? He doesn't have any particular allegiances or anything of that nature, right? Again, he's more he's gonna be more like a mercenary character. Right? So he is still human, still male. Um, but again, the absolute weaponry. Let's talk about what absolute weaponry is for a second. Upon rolling that and looking at it, essentially, this guy right here takes out your favorite verse, right? And so basically with absolute weaponry, it can hurt you if he touches you with his weapon in any capacity. If your care if 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 the person's immortal, um Freaking invulnerable, right? In in whatever, whatever. Name the power, whatever. Absolute weapon. You could be blocking. You can have the ultimate shield. Does not matter. A full counter, whatever. It doesn't matter. What happens is if you get hit with an absolute weapon or whatever. Again, according to the definition provided by powerlisting.fandom.com or Superpower Wiki. Essentially, when it touches you, it hurts you at the last point you were vulnerable at any point in time across any verse. Yikes, right? And so what we decided to do is, um, again, because we want to stay true to the character's name, right? Um, so his absolute weapon isn't a gun, it isn't a sword, it isn't bow and arrows, it's his dookie, right? <laughs> so what we decided to do is he must use his dookie to create absolute weaponry. And it sounds stupid until you play Death Stranding, you realize, oh, his excrement and, and, and bodily fluids are the weapon that you're using throughout the game. So if they made it work, damn it, we can make it work too. So... He must use his dookie to create absolute weaponry. Various utilizations for this ability include wet dookie can be utilized as the ultimate whip is what we kind of see right here. <laughs> Granny Irina can beat him though. I, I mean, hey, it's your character. You know what I'm saying? If you think she could beat, her, beat him, I can't argue. <laughs> um, the smell first disorients, leaving, completely un leaving the opponent completely unguarded and unable to dodge his strike. Then there's solid dookie which essentially will become a poop club. He cannot use ordinary weaponry to utilize his absolute weaponry ability. So, backstory. And this, we kind of just came up on the fly too, which was freaking awesome. So, from birth, he was a peculiar child. Upon his first dookie, he took his first victim's life. His dookie destroyed the doctor that assisted with his birth. Duke was placed under the watchful eye of the US government, trained to be the ultimate assassin. Duke has been sent on the most intense and covert operations. Tired of being a lapdog for the government, Dookie Stain decides to fight for his future. <laughs> I can't believe we really did this. Essentially tired of the shit at his job, Duke decides to disobey orders and live his life like a normal person. However, because he disobeyed the US government, they won't let him go, fearing his abilities. Believing him too dangerous, and if allied with their enemies could create an international incident, Duke is now disavowed and on the run from the very country he passionately served. Will Duke be able to find the life he always wanted, or will he be subject to the same shit he always has? A lapdog for the government. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> 
<laughs> and so there you have it. There's our very first character. Thank you, Jopo. Um, Dookie Stain. That's the first character we made on this thing. And again, as we kind of progress through this whole um, community character creation, as more people come, as more people get character made and stuff, um, the hope is that we can get like a little page or something done for each of the characters. And from there, um, have a whole little book. <laughs> and then send it to the community digitally. Be like, hey, thank you guys, right? Um, and so the world could see this awesome community that is Midnight Comics. Um, but yeah, so that's that's Dookie Stain, right? Then next up, um, I think we did this one. I think we ran We We... Um, no one else had subbed that night, and we just said, screw it, we're just gonna roll another one. Plot twist, it's Goten in that suit, chill out. Right, it's really Great Saiyan Man number five, bro. Or whichever one Goten was, Great Saiyan Man number three, excuse me. It's really Great Saiyan Man three. <laughs> um, the next villain made that same evening, um, her name is Ankia, or whatever. Uh, affiliation. She's a villain. Uh, Disciples of Adonai is the group, but we will talk more about the groups and specifics on that following this uh, conversation here about or this description of the character. Obviously, it's female, right? Uh, and then um, she's a fallen angel. When we rolled her powers, we got enhancement powers. Right, though. Right. Her wings are anchors, bro. I didn't even think about that, right? Um, so her power is just anchor proficiency. Right, so she's able to wield anchors of any size and create energy constructs in the image of anchors specifically. She is able to anchor people in her hope, thus making them no longer feel pain or fear, which if you guys watch Seven Deadly Sins, something similar to that with like how they did um, um, in the latter seasons when they were fighting and the angels came down to help and stuff. Kind of mild spoilers there. Um, but yeah, in her hope, they're no longer able to feel pain uh, or fear, and if they accept this anchor, they become her slave as she becomes their idol. Backstory. Ankita took place in the War of the Heavens alongside Iblis the Fallen. After their failed coup, she separates from the group, but chooses to deceive Adonai's followers and corrupt his creation. She becomes a wolf in sheep's clothing, becoming an idol and deceiving several members of, the, of Adonai's disciples. Typo. She disguises herself and her intentions under the guise of being a devout follower of Adonai. Her plan is to turn as many of Adonai's followers into her minions for the inevitable final battle against Adonai himself. Bruh, this character looks so cool to me, bruh. <laughs> this design, I did not expect to go so hard, bro. And then, like, even the shoes, bruh. Like, I'm getting some, um, Bayonetta vibes from the character, right? Where she has, like, the guns on her shoes and stuff, on her heels or what have you. Uh, that man is is pretty hardcore. Uh, you mean one camera or two? It's gonna be a group set up this time, so I may only invite one other theater. Uh, one second. Hold on. That's some blaze bl blouse blue vibes. Yeah, that's the one. We'll both be in the same room. All right. So tonight we have an interview with Dumb Comic Creators on Instagram, so definitely check us out on there. But we also had Darkstalkers, yes, yes. Um, yo, Ankita versus Morgan, bro, let's go. Um, but we have an interview with Dumb Comic Creators tonight on Instagram, but also tomorrow with Lost Children of Andromeda on Instagram uh, as well. So we'll be posting... Um, you know, either snippets and stuff from said interviews on the website. We do do blog posts. I, I've been doing better with them. <laughs> uh, but we also tell tell you guys about what we got going on in our mailing list. So if you're not a part of our mailing list, definitely jump in for that as well. But yeah, so that's that. Those are our first two characters on Community Character Creation Night, right? Ankita and Duke E. Stain. Um. And so, yeah, generic little pictures and stuff that I have for some other character ideas. But that's, that's it for what we've already previously had. Let's go ahead. Uh, 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 uh,